see that spot where the leaves are? That's the spot that uh, Princess was terrified of. Well, she's still bowing her body out. This is the next day. Look at her. Look at her stance. Look at her. Still looking for the effing snake. Next day. This horse is terrified. Look at her body language. And she won't walk straight down here. Look at her. Backing up. With her ears cocked forward looking at the ground. And uh, particularly this pile here. I think the snake is living in here. Okay. My husband says that whenever he's found a snake has been underneath a pile of uh, leaves. You can see some fresh leaves, like with holes in it. So, um, this is the plan. We're going to take the whirly bird, and we're going to whirly bird on the other side of this fence, as close as possible here. And then, um, we're going to take the, uh, leaf blower and blow away this habitat because I'm pretty sure the snake is living in there. She smells it. I don't smell it. She smells it all along here. And next year, I will be smarter and blow the leaves away. And I was just here uh, three minutes ago when I found a turtle by that stump. Um, so there's reptiles living in here. Last year, I came out here and found a large six foot long black snake right here then the leaves tend to gather here kind of a pain to blow away all these leaves you see there's the water bucket and it stood upright and I was on the other side of that wooden um, those wooden boards and the um, I hate walking through here and anyway, the snake was about four feet high. It was about as it was about uh, as tall, standing upright, trying to attack me. About as that third rail up, I had to call the neighbor, and um, he removed it. And then another time, I came out here and I screamed because I didn't see it at first. There was a snake up on these boards, up on the board, just about right here, up on the boards. And I walked right past, and I didn't see it until later, and then I screamed. <laughs> I'm good at screaming. Here's a reptile right here, right next to the barn. They like to come up here because when it rains, all the water pours off this roof here and makes this right here soggy as all hell right here because all the water's pouring off the roof and um, they come up here to drink water and it's been dry so I'm hoping for rain another place where snakes like to hide are under rock piles and if you see by this tree those are actually a pile of rocks that was here when when we moved here and I'm not going back there because snakes love to hide in rock walls and rocks See, my dog is dangerously close to the rock pile so I'm not walking back there this place is great for ticks, chiggers, snakes and um, the kind of dirt here they put this in cement because it's actually as hard as rock you, you can't possibly put a shovel in here so I wonder if they put this kind of dirt in cement and also I've noticed in Missouri that people just love to burn leaves piles of leaves and they love to um, burn fields I've never seen anybody burn an entire field down and I'm wondering, well, they burn the field down to get rid of the weeds, I guess. But um, I would.
would imagine it kills all the ticks too. Maybe that's why they do it. another snake house. Bet you there's snakes in there. And very close to the house and barn. No, I'm not moving it. We just blew away all the leaves. And here, look. You see? Look at all those snake holes. And there's some more on the other side. So how to get rid of these snakes are living in here. This is why my horse was terrified. And how to get the snakes out. Do you think if we stick a hose down there, we can drive the snakes out? This is definitely a snake nest. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six holes just on this side, and I don't, I don't want to walk. There's a couple more holes here. There's a whole family of large snakes here. Now, how to get rid of them is the issue now.